I am about to do the unthinkable. Literally never before seen by gamers anywhere. This will make me a pioneer of the gaming industry. What I am about to do is go outside. But only for a short moment because we ran the wires back inside to build our gaming PC powered entirely by the sun. The whole thing's powered off the sun right now. I don't know about you guys, but I oftentimes find myself out in the middle of the desert with a monitor, a mouse, a keyboard, a desk, a gaming PC, and a gaming chair all ready to go, and then just nowhere to plug it in, man. Obviously, it's the middle of the desert, but I do have two solar panels, a voltage regulator, and a crippling fear of manual labor. So if you find yourself in that sort of same boat, this video is definitely for you. Otherwise, get lost, Normie, because it's about to get real nerdy. Last time we powered a gaming PC with a treadmill, but it got me thinking, what else can we power a gaming PC with? I'm not sure why I went with the sun this time, because I sweat if it's over 71 degrees Fahrenheit. The goal this time is to have everything running directly off the sun. No batteries, no funny business, just sun, solar panels, wires, gaming PC. Oh, right inside the PC, just with the Latte Panda Alpha and the GT 1030, our gaming PC pulled 74 watts. So with two 100 watt solar panels, that should give us enough headroom to run directly off the sun. I actually don't know how solar panels work and I didn't need to know, I just bought some on Amazon. There's still a mystery panel to me. There's still some sort of like, how does it do what it do? I do know about electricity though, and how the panels produce a direct current, which is the same thing our treadmill produced. Last time we took that direct current and hooked it up to an inverter, which turns it into an alternating current, which basically means you can plug standard household items into it at that point. So alternating current is normie plug-in stuff, and direct current is nerdy power supply stuff. And then we plugged in our PC's power supply, which turns it back into direct current. You lose efficiency this way, and also your entire YouTube comment section will turn into an electrician and crucify you. So what if we got rid of the alternating current altogether and ran it directly into the gaming PC. The real problem is that most people get solar panels and feed the solar panels into a battery to then save for later and to run their things with. I don't know what off-grid people do, dude. I don't know, they buy a bunch of buy a bunch of dry food and they're like, I'm gonna eat this when everyone else is dead. I don't know, I had to figure out how I can get the electricity harvested from the sun and then directly fed to my computer. There's not like a how-to video on this. The first thing we had to do was make some small modifications to our 74 watt gaming PC. Very precise, technical, modification. Lots of lots of glue. We needed all of the components running off the same 12 volt direct current power supply. This way everything could run off the same power source. The GPU was already connected but the CPU needed a USB-C cable. Yeah, but that takes wiring and stuff. And as you all know, I'm just a bro and I do research with Google. And so that's why these videos take a long time. I just, I just, with sheer force of will and determination, I can do in two weeks what a trained professional does in about an hour. That's a good way of putting it. And I was like, dude, this, I don't know if this is gonna burn up my PC right now. This could take me another three weeks to complete this video because I gotta order crap again. And then it just worked, dude. It works, it's working. Yo. So right here, everything is running off a single 12 volt DC plug. I did wiring, dude. DC current's sick. DC current, DC team. Put in comments now. Put in comments now. Are you, are you direct current or alternating current? Team direct current. Team direct current, dude. I did like circuitry stuff. I'm, I'm growing stronger. Each day I grow stronger. <laughs> Who would have thought, dude? You do, this is like college. This isn't YouTube. I'm not making YouTube videos, dude. I'm in college right now. And I just don't get a degree at the end of it. With our gaming PC ready to receive 12 volts, we had to make sure that our solar panels were gonna give out 12 volts at an amperage high enough to produce 74 watts or more. Voltage times amperage as you calculate your wattage. The solar panels do produce a direct current, but it's a fluctuating voltage and amperage. So we got one of these also off Amazon. This is a buck converter, which takes the high fluctuating voltage from the panels and reduces it down to a constant 12 volts. 12.2 volts 
Almost three amps. Let's do the math quick before I forget the numbers. 12 point times 2.8. 34 watts. So that means if we have two panels. Dude, look over here. It's a camera. It's on a tripod. You can't look over. Look at a second panel. If we wire in two panels in parallel, 68 watts. Which means at midday with full direct sunlight, we might have just enough power to run our gaming PC at full load. This channel is turning more and more to Mythbusters every day. Can we run a gaming PC from the sun? Gaming Mythbusters, channel rename. So all we had left to do is wire it all together. We had to solder again. Gamer time. Plug it all together. We two wires that go to our both of our solar panels broken down into 12 volts and however many amps it can produce from the sun that then come out of this straight into our computer power supply. Go outside. We've got our solar panels outside, which are held up by our almond butter and our beans. Wired up to our voltage regulator. We have wired all together ourselves. We are now outputting power here. If my calculations are correct, we should be getting a clean 12 volts out right here. 12, there it is boys. 12.27 volts, it's clean coming out. I was confident we'd get 12 volts, but what really mattered is the amperage, because that's gonna tell us how many watts we get and if we're gonna have enough watts to power our gaming PC. Holy crap, the amperage is insane. Oh boys, we're making a clean, oh boys. Eight amps of power off the sun alone, 12 volts, Eight amps, dude, are we gaming or are we game? 12 volts and eight amps means we were creating a clean 96 watts. So it's time to grab our gaming PC and plug it in. It should be a direct, no problem power. Once we plug it into our power port right here, we're getting power. Nothing exploded, we're getting power. Let's try and turn on the computer. There it is. Boys, yeehaw, right on. We're running off the sun. Our gaming PC is now running off the sun. Oh my gosh, there's clouds. Ah yes, every solar powered gamer's worst nightmare, clouds. If a cloud covers our panels, we're gonna die. Our whole thing will die, and that's it. I would just say that you should all believe me, but I'm a YouTuber, and so I, that, that automatically makes me a liar. Take a quick visual inventory, and as you can see, there is no, no weird wires coming out of the ground or anything like that, no buried batteries, I don't know, I don't know, dude. And the wire coming out of my phone is a lapel mic that is strapped to my armpit, and our monitor is the only thing that this battery's powering, which we fix later. The only cable that we are running to my PC is going to be this ethernet cable. You can do power over ethernet, but as you can see, it's working without the ethernet cable plugged in. The only reason I couldn't use a wireless connection is because I have to send the video signal over a router to another PC in order to record the gaming footage. I'm gonna plug it in right now. Game's firing up. Oh my goodness, dude, we're running entirely off the sun. We're running gaming off the sun. We're running off the sun, Luna. We're running off the so sun. So it's, it's time to fire up a game, dude. We're literally playing Warzone off the power of the sun right now. Oh my goodness. B -b Bugs. Oh my goodness. Dude, we're cooking up a fat 30 FPS off the sun right now. We are solar powered right now. Let's see if we can't get some actual good gaming in. It's very bright out here. We're powered off the sun right now. Is this for real? Sometimes I think I'm faking my own video. Ah, that's all right, we got Gulag, dude. It's really hard to see the screen. Okay. We win Gulag, baby! We win Gulag on solar power! We won Gulag on solar power, dude, it's casual. It's just, it's just it's very chill, very chill. Just winning Gulag, solar power. There's bugs crawling on me, dude. We're like cruising at 30 FPS. We're cruising, dude. Oh! I got a knock. Gulag, get freaking Gulag, kid. You know I'm a thirst. I'm on solar power. You can make fun of me for thirsting, dude. I don't care. You're not on solar power. Get him, dude. Yeah. Oh, dude, he's prone. Dude, my teammate's trash. It is working. But we did say at the beginning of the video, no batteries. And our monitor is powered by a battery. And technically, this battery could probably run the whole setup for like five to 10 minutes. So we had to take care of this. I'm going to plug my monitor into the USB port 
on my computer and see if I can power everything from the sun. No way, right? No way we get the whole thing powered from the sun. No, I can't quite pull enough power. This monitor takes like three amps. Plain USB wasn't able to pull enough power, but I could splice this right now and plug it in right here. So we did some live surgery. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Everything's powered off the sun. The whole thing. I'm just in. The battery's gone. Live surgery worked. The whole thing's powered off the sun right now. Everything. Oh my goodness. I can't, I can't, I... <laughs> oh no, there's a cloud going overhead. It's working. Everything is powered off the sun right now. The only two wires. Powered by the sun. Let's get a kill. The cloud actually makes it easier for me to see, though. I'm sure. We're... Oh no! Put me in the gulag. Put me in the cap. Put me in the gulag. We're gonna win gulag right before the freaking clouds cut us off, dude. We're 100% sustained by solar energy right now. No batteries. Nothing. We are solar gaming. This is nuts. The cloud cut us off. Clouds overhead cut us off. That's crazy, dude. Oh. That's crazy. And that's it, dude. It, w it works. And that's how the solar-powered gaming ended. The cloud went overhead and froze us in the gulag, where the solar-powered gamer will be forever. It's the man with the Wii remote. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mr. Homeless Vlogs and Tricks You Into Thinking It's Gaming Content. Dude, everyone's gonna make fun of my forehead, dude. Come on, man. That's rough. I would play Rainbow Six Siege, but they have it written in the terms of service very specifically that you can't run on solar power. I'm scabbing in on solar power. I'm scabbing in on solar power.